In this video, we are going to show you how to deal with the problem when your Lightroom is not seeing the Shuttle Pro 2 settings that you have installed. So let's talk about that. When you open up your Shuttle Pro 2 settings and you see that you have Lightroom 5 Develop 3 settings and Lightroom 5 Library 3 settings and you see that they're all working, they all they all exist correctly. And maybe you were using Lightroom 5 yesterday, but you updated to Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC, which, by the way, are both the same program, but just different names because one's attached to the Creative Cloud. But you updated to Lightroom CC, and now when you go back to Lightroom and you click on your Shuttle Pro 2 settings, nothing exists. They're gone. All your settings are gone. Do not panic. Everything's fine. It's just that your Shuttle Pro 2 settings are looking for a very specific program. In the same way that if you had Photoshop open and you clicked on the Shuttle Pro 2 settings, you would see Photoshop settings and you wouldn't see your Lightroom settings. They're not lost. It's just that you're in Photoshop. Well, if you upgrade to a different version of Lightroom, whether it's a beta version of Lightroom, whether it's Lightroom CC, whether it's Lightroom 6, whether it's Lightroom 4 or 5, anytime you change the version of Lightroom that you're using, it's going to need Shuttle Pro 2 settings that are registered to that specific program. And it's very easy to accomplish that. So, you, the first way you could do it is by going to the Shuttle settings and you could import my new settings, which are specifically designed for Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6. So you could go to the All Applications, right-click, Import Settings. And you could go to your desktop where you've downloaded my new settings and click on the Lightroom Pro or the Shuttle Pro 2 Lightroom CC settings and click on the Develop and hit Open. And when you do, say Keep Both because you, you don't want to overwrite the old. And then you would right click again and you would import settings and go to the next set of settings, which by the way, this is a good reason to update to my new settings because we now have three setting sets instead of two. Uh, the new ones are for keywording. Keep both, right click again, import settings, click on the third set, open, keep both. Now I have three sets of settings. And if I go back to Lightroom, I will see that those three sets are there. That's because they were registered specifically to work with Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6. Now, that doesn't mean that your old settings from Lightroom 5 won't work. They will. You just have to register them. So let's say that you decided you don't ever want to go back to the website and download something because you've worked on these and you've tweaked them so that they're perfect to you. That's fine. All you have to do is click on your Lightroom 5 Develop 3 settings. Just, just right click on them. Anything that you want to keep and use in the new version of Lightroom, right click on it. And you're going to copy it to a new settings. So you're just going to make brand new settings. And it's going to pull up an, a, a dialog box that's really, it doesn't say anything, but it's asking you where the application is that's going to be host to these settings. So you're going to go to Lightroom and click on Lightroom. The, you're clicking on the actual Lightroom application and you're going to hit open. And now you can see that it's created an app with the Lightroom logo. You're going to have to rename this. So we're going to call these the old LR5 uh, develop settings and hit enter. Now you can see that I've got my old, old Lightroom 5 develop settings and I've got some new ones that were made as a copy, but they were pointing to the original, to, to the new Lightroom application. I'm going to do that again so you can see it again, even though you could rewind this video. I'm going to do it again. Click on LR5 Library 3. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to copy to new settings. Once I copy to new settings, I just have to choose the program that I want to be able to see these settings in and hit open. And now it creates another version called app. I'm going to type in old LR5 library settings. Now if I go back to Lightroom and click on my settings 
drop down menu, I get my LRCC options, the three that can, you can download from the website, or I've got my old ones right there. And they will work the same way as they always work. They will click on the same buttons. Um, occasionally, because Lightroom tends to change one or two of its hotkeys every time it increases in number, um, you might find that one or two of your settings don't work anymore if you use the old ones. Um, if that's the case, I suggest updating to the new ones. But you can also go into your develop settings and choose the old develop. Look for the one that's not quite working, click on it, and then change the settings here to match what they should be doing. Um, but I really suggest that you take a look at the new updates to the Lightroom CC, Lightroom Develop, Keywording, Library uh, settings for the Shuttle Pro 2 because they are really, really great. I've done a lot of work on them to make them even better, and the keywording options are super, super cool. To learn more about those, look at the video in my support page on using the Shuttle Pro 2 settings with Lightroom.